morning. I hope you're doing well wherever you're watching this video from. So today I'm showing you a about half an hour yoga sequence. It's a really nice little sequence to do in the morning to stretch your body, connect to your body, to your breath, perhaps set an intention for your day. I know it can be a bit difficult in the mornings when you're in quarantine. That's how I feel sometimes I wake up and I'm like, oh, you know, here we go again. And then by coming to my yoga mat, it really helps me to come back and feel grateful for all the things that I do have for my health. And then I, I move, I stretch, and then I, I set an intention. And that helps so much to feel a lot better. So I hope this works for you as well. So um, hop into something comfortable if you're not already ready. Um, and then I'll, um, we'll start lying down on our yoga mats. You don't need anything in particular for today's class. Perhaps just a pillow if you've got one nearby. Um, Sometimes it can be nice to use um, to support um, in different yoga postures. Alright, so come to lie down. Allow the legs to be nice and relaxed, maybe rocking the ankles side to side. Oops, that's my guitar. And then allow the arms as well to be nice and floppy on the ground. And so, as best as you can, your head neck and spine are in one line. Sometimes just look at your kind of gaze up and just check that you're kind of like in one line. Cool. Perhaps gently tucking the in, chin in towards the collarbones. And just enough so you feel like you've got a nice long neck. And you can allow your neck to very gently rock side to side. Allow the head nice and heavy. Massage the back of the skull. Start to deepen your breath. And then find that gentle point of stillness, head is nice and straight, cool, let's scan our body, starting with the five major lines of your body, so scan your left leg from the hip crease down the leg, to the left ankle and foot, the right hip joint, down the right leg, ankle, sole of the right foot, the left shoulder, arm, hand, right shoulder, arm, right hand. Now visualize your spine from your tailbone, your coccyx, up the spine, visualizing it, the vertebrae to the back of the skull and up through the crown of your head. Can you imagine yourself lying here? Can you visualize yourself from a bird's eye view? From up above, visualize your body Visualize those five lines as bright lights. Good. Soften the 
muscles of your face, the jaw, the eyes. Good. Let's take three deep breaths together. Inhale, really fill up from the belly, allow it to travel through the ribs and the upper chest. Open the mouth, exhale fully. Good, two more like this. Can you allow the exhalations to be slightly longer than the inhalations? One more. Good. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Allow the breath to be um, to be nice and smooth from inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And allow your breath to travel all the way down the belly and then into the chest. It makes like a wave. You can always check episode number two, which is a good exercise to help find the full capacity of your lungs in a three-part breath. Good. As you settle here, using your breath as you anchor to the present moment, Allow yourself to set an intention for your class. Whatever comes to your mind, but use the present tense. So for example, I let go of my thoughts and I'll allow myself to be present. Or I listen to my body. Whatever comes to your mind. Can't think of anything. Perhaps just say to yourself. I am grateful. Good. When you're ready, inhale, full body stretch. Reach the arms above the head. You can wiggle the wrists, pull and flex the toes, the ankles. Exhale, knees into the chest. Rock very gently side to side. Ooh, one more. Inhale. Fill up. You can open and close the mouth. Scrunch the face. Exhale. Knees into the chest. Really good to release through the lower back. Inhale. Full body stretch. This time you grab your right wrist. Reach it up and over towards the left. So torso is towards the left. Your legs are coming to the left as well. So you're making a semicircle or a banana shape here. Very subtle, doesn't have to be a big, big um, shape. You should start to feel opening through the right side of your body. So see if you can keep your shoulders nice and even down on the mat. And keep your hips as well leveled down so your right hip might want to start lifting up can you kind of gently adjust to your feeling nice and grounded if you need you can have a, a pillow to rest your arms cool take a few breaths here allow space in your belly and into the chest opening through the side body today which really makes me feel nice and rejuvenated has it has a cleansing effect you might feel the same by the end of the class cool let's swap sides so come to the center 
Inhale, grab your left wrist, reach it up, over towards the right. Legs come to the right. So again, adjust the shoulders and the hips slightly. I should have said you can um, stack the ankles, so it will be the left ankle here on top of the right. So you should feel some opening through the hip flexors as well. Use your pillow if you need to support the arms. Deep breaths here into the belly and the chest. Soften your face. Enjoy this nice stretching of the side body. Allow this moment of gratitude for your body. Perhaps come back to your intention whenever you start to wander off. Use it as a point of focus. Good. Unravel the legs. Inhale through the center. Exhale, knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Make gentle circles with the hips, so holding onto your knees, start to open the knees out wide. As you breathe in, exhale, knees come in towards the chest. Good, just a couple of circles here. And then swap the directions of the circle. How do your hips feel right now? Knees together, you're going to inhale, open the arms wide. Exhale, mindfully bring the knees to the right, all the way down to the mat. So if you've got any injury or any tightness in your spine, you can use a pillow, place it underneath your knees. Or you can also place it in between the knees as a support here, so your hips are more level. Wherever you're at, allow a few deep breaths here. Soften your face. Good. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Prop your knees if you need. And you can start to practice that three part breath again. So you allow your belly to rise as you inhale, and then the breath travels all the way to the upper chest. Exhale, you can open the mouth whenever feels good to cleanse out any stale air, anything that no longer serves you. Good, inhale to the center. Remove the cushion if you use one. Give the knees a big squeeze. Gonna do just a little bit of um, core awareness. So bring the knees Actually, let's bring the knees flat, uh, the feet flat down, arms alongside your body. You can press into the elbows, shimmy the shoulder blades under. Take a deep breath, allow the belly to swell into the chest. Exhale, belly button draws in, lower back gently connects down towards your mat. So you've got a nice, strong core, strong abdomen. Keep your breath flowing, but keep that engagement here. Inhale, bring the right leg up to tabletop. Exhale, left leg comes up. You can point flex the toes here. Good. So knees are roughly above the hips. Tendencies to arch the back. Can you gently bring it back? Gauge your core, connect down. Cool. Find your stillness through the feet. They can be pointed or flexed. Awareness all the way into the legs. Good. Long neck here. Deep breath in, exhale, right heel comes down towards the mat, keeping that 90 degree angle of your leg. As soon as it reaches down, you inhale it back up. Exhale, left heel comes down. Inhale up. Keep it going like this, right side, and then the left. One at a time, using your breath here to guide you, keeping your core nice and active. Really engage, so you're moving slowly, 
that with control, good, we've got five more on each side, keep it going. So you inhale the leg up, exhale it down, four more. Good, soften the shoulders, soften the face. Remember it's your class, you can adjust slightly if it's becoming too much, you can take a rest. Good. We've got two more rounds. You can extend the heel, making the leg straight, hovering over the mat if you prefer. Good. One more on each side. With control until the very end. Good. Knees come in towards your chest, rock side to side. Ooh, allow yourself to flop around. Maybe you open the mouth, cleanse it out. Cool. When you're ready, we're going to rock and roll up and down the mat. If you're on a hard ground, just roll onto your side. Maybe a couple of rounds. If you're doing that, cross the legs, hands come to the front. We'll meet in our child's pose. So knees out wide, big toes to touch. Inhale, open the collarbone, look forward, exhale, hips back towards the heels, allow the chest to come down, wiggle the hands forward, forehead down. Good, take a few breaths here into the back of the body. A nice space here, you can always support with a pillow maybe on your chest here. Or you can put it behind your hips. If you're more new to yoga and your hips don't reach all the way down. Cool. You can stay here. We'll start to inhale. Wiggle the fingers tall, uh, forward. Come into your tippy fingers. Elbows up the mat. Exhale. Walk the hands to the right. And then exhale. Um, relax the elbows. Soften all the way down. You can stack the left hand on top of the right, getting a nice stretch in the side of the uh, left. Cool. Inhale, come to the tippy fingers, walk the hands to the left. Right hand stacks on top of the left. Keep the shoulders facing down as best as you can. Good, deep breath in the side of the ribs. Stretching the right side of your body. Keep your right hip nice and heavy. Cool. Next inhale, come up with the fingers, wiggle to the center. Exhale, chest comes down. Cool, we're gonna inhale up to our all fours. You can open the fingers wide, press into the hands, knees, about hip width apart, feet curled or uncurled, whatever position is best for you, but you're just gonna um, press into the feet where you're at, as if you could lift the knees at any point. Good, keep your belly button up and in. Let's do cat and cow, so inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, look forward, exhale, round the chin, round the back, like an angry cat. Keep it going, inhale, slide the shoulders back and down. Keep your belly holding you. Exhale, round the back, round the tailbone. Keep it going like this, a few more rounds. You're welcome to start to rock the hips side to side or do anything that feels more comfortable or where you want to warm up in your body right now this morning. Perhaps allow the head to gently gaze side to side. Three more breaths. Maybe circle with the torso. Okay, when you're ready, set up for 
downward dog. So walk the hands slightly forward. Keep those fingers nice and wide. Lengthen the fingers down so your, um, your weight is on the fingers, not just on the wrist, right? You want to have nice supported hands. Slide the shoulders back and down. Remember, upper arms away from each other. Cool. Curl the toes under. Keep the belly engaged. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up towards the skies. Keep the knees bent here. And then start to walk one heel down after the next. Cool. You can shake the head. Yes and no. Wake up your hamstrings by stretching the heels down, up, one after the next. position. Come going up and over to your plank. Good. So hips leveled. Um, crown reaches forward, heels reach back. You can rock forward and back. Keep the belly engaged. Press through the hands. Gaze is nice and long. Knees can come down here. Good. Keep your breath. Good. Next inhale. Uh, look forward. Gently rock forward. Exhale. Keep the elbows Brushing the side body as you exhale all the way down. Good. Uncurl the toes behind you. Hands either side the upper ribs. Inhale, press the top of the feet down. Roll the upper chest, baby cobra. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale. Keep the elbows close and in. Use the back muscles. Watch your neck. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Relax down. Curve toes under. Inhale. Press up to your all fours. And then exhale. You decide. Downward facing dog or child's pose. So if you're doing child's pose, knees are down. We've got five breaths here. Another option instead of down dog is to have the knees down and then walk, um, rock one uh, leg at a time back. I'm going to do a video that's a um, beginner's yoga video um, at some point. <laughs> cool. Last breath wherever you're at. Exhale, knees come down, finding your all fours. Good. Keep the knee, uh, bring the knees together here in the center. Okay, you're looking um, slightly forward and down, so you've got a long neck. Inhale, bring the right leg up, so the toes are pointing down. Use your hamstring, use your glute to bring the leg parallel to the mat. Cool, be mindful here, the right hip will want to come up. Bring it down so it's leveled with the left. Press into the hands, keep the gaze nice and long. Good, option to reach the left arm. So um, thumbs are facing up, peeking forward, uh, peeking down. You're going to inhale, press the heel away and reach the arm forward. Exhale, curl elbow to knee, press away. Good, keep it going. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale. One more like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl in. And then release the hands and the knees down. Good. The same thing on the opposite side. Find your balance. And inhale, left leg up. So use your hamstring, use your glute to bring that leg up. As much as you can. Now don't force it. Belly button up and in. Keep the long gaze. Good. Watch that left hip nice and level with the right as best as you can. Inhale, right arm forward. You can reach the fingers forward, get a nice stretch in the side. Exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze. Inhale, extend, find length. Press the heel away. 
fingers forward. Exhale into your ball. Use your um, left hand to press away. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. And then come back. Good. You can open the knees wide, find your child's pose. Take a rest. You can bend the elbows. Um, place the hands on top of each other maybe. And allow your breath to soften. Good. Come back to your intention. Notice where your mind takes you. Not being too harsh on yourself. Just notice where it takes you and then come back. Cool. When you're ready, extend the hands forward. You can always pause the video if you want to hang in your child's pose a bit longer. And when you're ready, we'll come back to our downward facing dog. Take your time to get there. Remember, spread the fingers wide, shoulders back and down, so the upper arms away from each other. You can bend the knees so you've got a nice long spine. Gradually, your heels will start to reach down. Good. Keep your belly button engaged up towards your spine. Good. We're going to bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, tiger curl, shift forward, shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, three-legged dog. Good, we've got two more. Keep it going like this as you exhale, knee comes in. Option to come back to what we were doing before. Good, one more, inhale, lengthen the heel up. Exhale, tiger curl, look forward, step in between your hands. Good. When you're ready, keep a long gaze. You can use your hands here to help you. Or if you've got a wall behind you, you can bend the back knee. Inhale, up to your crescent lunge. Cool, if it's too much, you can lower the knee. When you're ready, inhale, arms up. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Cool. So um, you can keep that back knee slightly bent so your center is nice and down. So, you're going to inhale, reach the left wrist up and over just slightly towards the right. Take a nice breath in the side body. Keep your shoulders leveled. Good. Relax the shoulders. Inhale back up. Exhale, hands come down. Warrior two. So, ground the back foot. I'm going to look the other way to face you, but you stay where you are. Right foot in front, back foot is now parallel to the back of the mat. Open the arms, take a deep breath. Exhale, bend the front knee so that knee is over the ankle. You should be able to see the foot, the big toe in front of you. Good, keep your feet active, your legs active, all the way to the glutes. Good. Inhale, lower the back hand, flip the front palm, reverse warrior, up and over, nice opening in the side, exhale, right elbow to right thigh, left arm comes up and over, diagonal line, good, so use your belly here so you're not collapsing, inhale, really reach that finger, diagonal, left little pinky toe is grabbing the mat. Good, exhale, look down, inhale, reverse, and we flow between the two, so exhale, side angle, keep the shoulders stacked, inhale, reverse, you can extend and straighten your front leg if it's better, one more round, at your own time. We'll meet as we inhale in our reverse warrior. Exhale, hand on the hips, straighten your front leg. You can slightly pivot that back foot to face inward. Um, uh, 
triangle pose, Trikonasana. So use your hands to gently uh, bring your hips back. Be mindful you're not locking your knee, hyperextending. You're just engaging your thigh. Inhale, right hand reaches forward as if you're saying hi to someone. Exhale, hand comes down, maybe on the um, shin. Open arm up, the left arm up, pivoting to the left. If it's too much, hand can come down. Good, holding here, keep your core engaged. Keep your legs active, the back leg is active as well. Good, one more full breath. Exhale all the way out, look down, release the hand. Use your legs to inhale up. Good, stay as you exhale fully. Back heel comes up, take a deep breath. Exhale, lower the chest down, plant the left hand. You can lower the back knee if it's better. Inhale, right arm up, twist on the opposite side. Good, keep your breath, find the options for the legs. Remember less is more. I'd rather you have integrity in your feet, integrity in your muscles. Good, look down, right arm comes down, and then you step back. So you decide here, you can have a rest, child's pose, or you can um, move through a vinyasa. So you can come to your plank, look forward, shift forward as you breathe in, exhale, lower all the way down, and then inhale, baby cobra, or upward facing dog. We'll meet in our downward facing dog. Ooh, take a few breaths here. I'm gonna flip the other way again. If you're in child's pose, come to your downward facing dog. Good, feet together. Let's do the opposite side. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, tag the curl, shift forward, look forward. Keep the knee up and in. Good, inhale, three-legged dog. Two more, exhale. Inhale, heel reaches up, toes are pointing down. Exhale, tag the curl. This time you, uh, I think, oh, actually, one more. <laughs> Sorry, I've lost count. So turn, three-legged dog. And then exhale, shift forward, look between the hands, step in between the hands. Cool, you can lower the back knee if you need. Otherwise, inhale up to your crescent lunge. Find your center, bend the back knee if you need. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Inhale, grab the right wrist, reach it up and over to the left. Should feel nice sensation in the side body and in the side, uh, in the right hip plexus. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, release the hands. Ground the back foot. Warrior two. So foot is parallel to the back of the mat. A nice bend in your front leg. Open the arms wide. Breathe in. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Keep that front knee. Roughly over the ankle, you should see the front foot. So the knee is kind of uh, pressing to the outside there, towards the left. Good. Next breath in, lower the back hand, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. Breathe in the uh, rib cage. Exhale, side angle. Left elbow to left um, thigh. Extend right arm. Diagonal. Good. Reach with that right finger. Deep breath in the side. Exhale, look down. Inhale, reverse. Remember, you can straighten the front leg if you prefer. We flow between the two. Have fun with it. Move at your own pace with your breath. One more. Good, reverse, 
straighten the front leg, release the left hand down, both hands on the hips. Set up for triangle pose, that back foot can slightly face a bit more in. Both legs are straight, you're engaging your muscles, be careful not to hyperextend them. Um, hips, slightly pull them back as you breathe in, reach the left hand forward, exhale down. Inhale, open the chest towards the right, open the hand, good, keep the core engaged, you can bring that hand down if it's better, keep your breath, use your core, deep breath here, exhale, look down, release the hand down, inhale, up, use your legs, Good, soften as you exhale, hands on the hips. Inhale, back heel comes up. As you exhale, chest comes down, plant the right hand. Lower the back knee if you need. Open, left arm up, twist. Deep breath here. Be mindful of your neck, wherever you're at. Keep the feet active, legs active, choose your option. When you're ready, exhale. Left hand comes down, press into both hands, step back. You decide. You can come to your downward facing dog, child's pose, or move through a vinyasa. Good, I'll come straight to downward facing dog myself. And then eventually I'll invite you to bring the knees down, find a well-deserved rest. Chest comes down, arms can come alongside the legs. Head reaches down. Good. Really breathe into the back body. Take these moments here to notice your breath. Can you allow it to feel all the way down the belly? Maybe guide your awareness back. Repeat your intention. Again, you can pause here, take a few more moments. When you're ready, bring the hands forward. Bring yourself up to your kneeling position. You can use a cushion here to sit on. We're going to extend the legs forward, so sit onto one side, extend the legs, then dasana. So you're sitting down at the edge of the cushion, remove the flesh from the sitting bones. Extend the feet forward, you can have the knees bent, it's quite a hard posture actually. Um, I used to struggle with this a lot. Hands either side the hips, feet flex back. So use your belly, long spine, press the heels away. And reach the crown up, bend the knees if you need. Don't want to curl the spine up. Good. Keep your breath here, a few more. Exhale all the way out. Inhale, release. You're going to open the feet wide, V shape. So slightly tilt the pelvis forward. Use that um, cushion if you need. And bend the knees if you need. First, you're going to engage the feet back towards your face. Lengthen the crown up. Start to walk the fingers forward. Long spine here. Good. So keep a long spine. Keep your belly engaged. Maybe even bring the uh, upper arms close to your side body so you feel the, the back working. Deep breath here. Exhale, relax the hands. You can start to relax the feet if it's if you want to just kind of hang in there. Start to uh, wiggle the fingers forward, round the chin, round the back. Just be careful of your back here. So if you've got any pinching in the low back, you've gone too far. So come back up. Maybe activate the legs. You can always just stay up with the hands behind you. 
Stay here for a few breaths. Allow the uh, shoulders to soften if you're folding down. Maybe Jenny, wiggle the chin side to side. And keep your belly supporting you here. So belly button gently engage up towards the spine. Last two full breaths. See if you can extend and elongate your exhalations. Use your hands to bring yourself all the way back up. Good. Bend the knees. Bring the legs together. Come to lie on your back. Be mindful here. If you want, you can use your core here. So have the knees bent or extended. And gently rock yourself all the way down. Be mindful. Vertebrae by vertebrae coming all the way down. Good. When you're there, squeeze the knees in towards the chest. Rock side to side. Feet come down, you can uh, brush the back of the heels with your fingers. Good. Press the feet down, arms alongside the body. Press the hands and elbows. Good. Watch your neck here. Inhale, press the feet. And then curl the tailbone, vertebra by vertebra, all the way up. Find your bridge position. So engage your legs, engage your glutes. Press into the feet. You can maybe shimmy the shoulders slightly under. Keep your breath flowing here. Open through the front of the chest. One more deep breath. Exhale, relax. Vertebra by vertebra, all the way back down. Good. Knees come in. Find your happy baby. So open the knees to watch the shoulders. Maybe grab the outside edge of your... Uh, Sorry, you can grab the hamstring like this, or the outside edge of the feet. Maybe extend one feet at a time. It's like a little gentle inversion here. We'll bring the right knee into the chest, extend the left leg forward, roll onto the left. Bring the knee to the left here. Use a pillow if you need. Find a twist. Keep that right arm nice and open. As best as you can. Shoulders are grounded. So try not to be too... Just be careful. So you don't need to go too far. Maybe come back a little bit. So you're grounding through the shoulder. One last breath. And then come back to the center, both knees squeezing. You rock side to side. Left knee into the chest, extend the right leg forward, and then roll onto the right. Again, maybe shimmy the hips, shimmy the shoulders, so you're nice and position. Use a pillow here if you need. So this is a twist. So you're twisting your spine, you're also getting some stretch in the outside of your thigh here. You want to be careful not to kind of overextend anywhere. So if you need to come back a little bit, just come back. There's not really a right or wrong. Just what feels intuitively good for you. So as long as you're not feeling any pinching, you know you just know when it doesn't feel good. So trust yourself. Start to bring that awareness. So you can notice when you're in a good position and when you're perhaps not in the perfect position for you. Good. Inhale to the center. It's what yoga teaches us. It teaches us to be aware both of our body and of our mind. Be aware of our breath. We can start to find that nice connection. Cool. And when you've 
tricky. Allow the legs to come all the way down. Find your well-deserved Shavasana. Resting pose. Arms resting, legs slightly apart. Again, maybe checking so you're nice and even. Scan the five major lines again. Left leg. Right leg. Left arm. Right arm. Scan your spine. Take a deep breath, fill up. Open the mouth, let it go, melt into your final pose. You can start to gaze up towards your eyebrow center. So even though the eyes might be closed, you imagine gazing up in your third eye. Maybe imagine seeing light here or like a white board. Just gaze into that space. You can pause the video as you allow yourself to surrender in your final pose, maybe five or even 10 minutes. Using that focus of your eyes as your anchor. When you're ready to come back, start to wiggle the fingers, Wiggle the toes, let go of your focus. Come back to your body. You can quietly say your intention to yourself once again. Maybe grinding the uh, arms on your torso and your chest again. And then inhale, stretch. Eventually rolling onto your side. Take your time. Use your hand to come up. Cross legged, hands together in front of the heart. Good night. Hair is just slightly relaxed. I know. Take a deep breath here. Thank yourself for the time you've taken. Do something good for yourself. Soft bow of the head towards the fingers. Namaste.